This bone is the ulna. Now, one of the giveaways how you can know is the ulna is the U-shape on the proximal end. So we turn that, you can see how it looks like a U. So this U-shape on the proximal end. So what we're looking for is the olecranon process. This tip right here, the very proximal tip, is the olecranon process. Now, pretty much you can think of the olecranon process as your elbow. The very tip of your elbow you can touch is the olecranon process. While the next process down, right here, this process, which is a little more distal, is going to be your coronoid process. This is the coronoid process. And right in between this indent, or where the actual U is, this indent is going to be the trochlear notch. The trochlear notch. While just to the lateral side of the coronoid process is this smooth indent. This smooth indent is going to be the radial notch. Now, what do you think the radial notch is going to articulate with? It articulates with the radial bone. So it fits just like this in there. The round head of the radius articulates with the radial notch of the ulna. Now, an unusual thing about this bone, the head of the ulna is all the way down here. The head is at the distal end, more towards the wrist. And on the head, we have this little point. That point is going to be your styloid process. So that point is the styloid process. So to figure out, okay, is this a right or a left ulna? The trochlear notch here must face anterior. The reason being is it forms an articulation with the humerus. It fits just like this to allow your arm to flex and extend. The coronoid process goes in the coronoid fossa. The olecranon process goes in the olecranon fossa. The trochlear notch has the trochlea articulating with it. So that means that this bone must have the trochlear notch facing anterior. Now the radial notch must face lateral because the ulnar bone is on the medial side of your arm in antonic position. So if your palms are facing forward, the ulna is on your fifth digit side, or your pinky side, fifth digit side, which puts the radius on your thumb side. So the radius is going to be more lateral, while the ulna is more medial. So the radius must articulate, at this point, out towards the thumb. So the radial notch is lateral. This particular bone is a right ulna. Trochlear notch anterior, radial notch lateral.